Hey, welcome to another episode of Broken Air. This is uh, myself, Andy, and uh, chronicling my uh, very quick rise in uh, collecting video games and consoles. Uh, as you can see, my next on the list, yeah, I've got the Xbox. Now, of course, it is uh, the uh, Christmas period, so this is my Christmas present, and I managed to find one. Now, these are getting very much more difficult to find. And uh, I must have phoned around several uh, shops in my local area to find one and finally got one. And which uh, also led on to a whole load more other problems, which I think I'm going to go to in a whole new video about retrons, uh, not retrons, sorry, retro game stores. Um, getting a little annoyed with them. But, uh, but here we go. This is the Xbox, Microsoft's first uh, entry into the uh, console market. And again, I miss this console completely. I had a PS2, and that's what I was happy with when I was uh, at that time period. And, um, well, looking at the thing from here, it looks like a bloody VHS player. It is massive. Absolutely massive. It's like a breeze block, <laughs> and uh, which is a very large stone. And I just, uh, I don't know, it's, it doesn't look too bad. It looks a little bit gimmicky. With the old, uh, big old X on top. Not very subtle, are we, Microsoft? Uh, on your first design. Um, but it's all pretty much simple. We've got four control ports. Uh, again, that's a, more than what the PS2 had. And a very two simple buttons on the start. Uh, it's got a little uh, 8 gig memory, um, hard drive inbuilt. And a modem, which accepts a broadband. Which, uh, again, uh, <laughs> Sony completely missed out. And uh, you had to add it all. Um, yeah, uh, so far my first impressions when I booted up, it it looked gorgeous. <laughs> uh, I was very surprised at the quality coming out of the uh, little black box here. Also, so little big back blocks. And going through it, um, yeah, I was I absolutely, <laughs> I don't know why I didn't buy this before. Um, yeah, as I said, this is another lovely little complaint. I mean, it's dirty. I mean, I will be cleaning this uh, big bad boy up. Uh, when I get the choice, my God, it's actually quite difficult to move around. Um, very simple on the back, yeah. You got your standard uh, uh, output, power, and uh, you got a nice Ethernet connection, and that's pretty much all she wrote on the thing. I mean, no, I don't think there's, there's nothing else on the bottom. You got the big old rubber mats which uh, stop it from moving around, and yeah, that's a big old. Big, oh, big black box. Um, I would say I have now completed my. Uh, I think it's the believe it's the fifth generation of consoles. I got the PS2, uh, I got the Sega Dreamcast. I've now got uh, I got the GameCube, and of course, and now I've got the Xbox, which now completes the generation, which I'm kind of happy about. It's a nice little monumental uh, feat I've done, and uh, to be honest, let's face it, I think this is one of the best generations of consoles. Um, when they're, let's like say, competition started to die off, <laughs> you know, Nintendo went a completely different de um, direction, and Sony and Microsoft carried on plugging out the same old games that they have done since this uh, console generation. Uh, though it's slightly changing now, but uh, yeah, no, I was uh, very, uh, very much impressed uh, so far with it. Uh, but uh, again, I've got another video that will come up uh, about my uh, complaints with the actual store where I bought it from. Um, but uh, coming over, boo! This again, the controller. Now, this is a very much used controller. You can see all the rubber has gone from the tops, which I'm, I'll recap them uh, later on. But uh, coming down, uh, it isn't the original one. This is the Xbox, I believe, it's the S uh, controller which is uh, a lot smaller than the original one and with extra buttons uh, I, I, like I say it's a very very comfortable controller I never really played much with the uh, uh, Xbox line of controllers but this one it's making me a slight converter this is why I wanted to get the Xbox and uh, see if I can start to enjoy a totally different area of uh, games and and playing um, I like it it's uh, really comfortable. I enjoyed. Um, one little complaint. I mean, yeah, the trigger buttons are a bit annoying for shoot 'em ups. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, 
when you're playing, I was uh, playing a bit of Halo. That's a lot of movement just for a quick, for just for a trigger. Say you're on the handgun, it's do 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 do. Um, I don't know, that's just one stupid thing. I'm surprised they didn't stick an extra button on top, which they do now. But yeah, other than that, um, yeah, I've thoroughly enjoyed uh, the actual console uh, and uh, the controller. I'm so far pretty pleased with the whole uh, deal so far. Um, but of course, I was very lucky at this point. Oh, I've only had the Xbox for a couple of days and bang. Oh, I have got a stack of games already, which I'm very happy with. Um, now, a couple of games I did actually pick up before. Um, uh, well, before I got the Xbox, just because I saw them at a thrift store and, you know, who can say no to a 50 cents game? But uh, I'm just going to start off at the top first. This is my first part. Uh, Chronicles of Riddick. Now, um, well, I can't, I enjoyed the first movie. The second one's okay, it's watchable. But uh, as I said, this is one of the Xbox exclusives. And so far I plugged it in, I started playing it and oh, everything. I <laughs> I got about ooh, about half an hour into it before uh, I had to be called away. But yeah, I was, so far really enjoyed the voice acting, spot on. Even the um, the modelling of uh, the actual characters, I was actually very blown away with this. Um, I can't wait to get a bit further into uh, the escape from Butcher's Bay. I'm really looking forward to playing the rest of this game. I'm I've been wanting to play this game for a long time, and uh, finally. <laughs> I have it now. <laughs> but yeah, that's the Chronicles. And everybody suggested we should always get Ninja Gaiden. Now, again, oof, horrible stickers on the damn bloody labels. Uh, again, so another Xbox exclusive. A um, little bit annoyed. Again, with the shop, they didn't give me a green box like all the Xbox ones have. They got, I think it's an old PlayStation 2 <laughs> or a DVD cover. But uh, yeah, everybody said I should be playing this game. Now, I haven't played that much. I tested it when I got home uh, just to see uh, if it all works. And so far, it works. That's all I can say. Um, I've seen reviews on this game. They say it's one of the most hardest games on the Xbox. Um, let's hope uh, I can get somewhere on it. <laughs> so it should be quite fun to see what this uh, will turn out to be. Kind of hopeful. And uh, Call of Duty 3. Um, don't know why I got this. Um, I think it was just a really cheap game. Um, I, I know the game. They're all on all the systems. And of course, this I think this was a launch title for the Xbox 360 as well. So this obviously came to the end of its uh, Xbox lifespan. And um, I'm kind of looking forward to it. Like, I've always enjoyed the older... Uh, World War Two comes with the uh, Medal of Honor and Call of Duty. I always enjoyed the uh, World War Two aspect of it. It's a shame. You know, I kind of wish they would go back to it a little bit, um, like uh, Frontline has now. But uh, it's all going further and further in the future. Um, kind of getting a bit dull. So yeah. But uh, looking forward to going uh, having a bit of a blast in the old uh, World War Two. Um, again, I. Never really played Unreal, and this is the way I don't know how good these games are. This is a, uh, I was just randomly in the shop, and uh, I they gave me a deal, and they say pick up games, and I'm like, uh, okay, this one, and this is one of the games that worked. <laughs> so uh, again, I'm kind of interested. It's nice to shoot them up. I guess I can't. They can't be all bad. Um, Ah, so I'm just looking forward to just uh, playing a bit and seeing how that controller works with first person. So I'm so used to the uh, PlayStation controller and see how this all goes. But yeah. And again, <laughs> G1 Ghost Recon. Now I had this on the PS2 and some strange I absolutely loved it. I managed to, I booted this one up um, earlier today. I played all of five seconds to, again just to make sure it works i've only had the system for a couple of days um but uh yeah oh good old blocky graphics and everything are kind of really does bring me back um but uh this is probably one of the modern games i'll be able to do a direct comparison from the memories of the uh on the ps2 uh i'm gonna see how this uh, it already looks 10 times better than the uh, ps2 version which uh, I'm really, uh, I 
car. Well, I want a good old blast against for that again. And I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I got the second one. Um, I think this way it goes a bit more arcadey. But uh, this is the limited special edition, do do do, which uh, just comes with a, I think uh, I believe a DVD of the making of. Um, I think I, I I remember playing this on the PS2. I had for a little bit. So again, um, I don't think I played it much. I, I don't think yeah no I didn't play it that much. So yeah, see what happens. Um, again, it's going to be one of those games I pick up and play maybe for twenty minutes and forget about for six months and come back to and pick it up for 20 minutes play it and so on and so forth um yep. and this is oh yeah I, again this is another one i picked up a thrift store it was 50 cents full spectrum warrior no idea what it is haven't looked at any of the reviews uh something tells me it's uh, a lame duck i don't know why it's uh based on training a development for the u.s army yes um so, yeah, I'll have it, give it a go for a bit. Uh, got the old reviews, which never believe those reviews on the back of these silly things. Because uh, they just take it all out of context half the time. Lovely advertising. But of course, duh, 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 the godfather of all shoot 'em ups on the Xbox. The Halo. Uh, Combat Evolved. Dun, dun, dun. This is, and I must admit, I did, this is the one game I did really want to play. Um... As I mentioned earlier, I played for about two hours of this game. And, my God, what have I been missing? I know this is the first one. And I know uh, from what I've read and seen that Halo 2 beats this hands down. But uh, I'd like to see where it all starts off from. And I'm just, I was absolutely blown away with it. <laughs> Even now. I was uh, absolutely, oh, this is just, yeah, it just brings me back. Good old uh, Halo. Uh, of course, there's like so many sequels to it, so I think they may have been diluted over the uh, past couple of uh, series of what I've seen. Ooh, blood and gore. Okay, if it says so. But um, yeah, I was really, uh, I was really getting into that one. Uh, that I had to uh, cook food for my children instead, so I had to stop playing. And do do do. Uh, it's Microsoft. I haven't played. I haven't got a Doom game and i know the new one came out and i'd love to have that and muck around on that one but this is the limited collector's edition of doom 3 in a metal case which is slightly broken right there but uh, again it was uh this is one of the ones i picked up in the store and uh yeah well, it's a beautiful little box <laughs> if it wasn't slightly broken but uh, i didn't notice it when i uh, when i actually uh, originally got it so uh yeah no Looking forward to uh, playing a bit more of that. I, mean, I had the Doom 3 on my PC and I played that quite well. I'm looking forward to uh, finishing that off. And this is a special. This is again another one I found for, I think I paid a whole dollar uh, for this game. Uh, Sega GT 2002. But that's not the thing I'm really good. It is do, 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 the double pack. I got Jet Set Radio Future. Which everybody says is a blast to play. So I'm actually looking forward to playing that game. So uh, yeah, it's a double pack uh, in this. And uh, so far, um, I haven't played, tested it yet. So I'm looking forward to testing that very soon. So yeah, that's uh, all the games I got. Uh, I do have another one on order, uh, which is uh, Jedi uh, Knights of the Old Republic. Uh, which I think everybody says is one of the best Star Wars games going. Um, but yeah, I think this is going to be my last video of 2016. I have another one planned very soon, um, but uh, I may be changing formats uh, as I think I may be getting a ca uh, another camera. See, so hopefully it will pay off, and hopefully I'll be talking to you directly. So uh, should be interesting to see how that pays off. Uh, but yeah, Xbox got checked. It's in my collection. Uh, now I've got to <laughs> find uh, a decent enough room so I can play it properly. So I hope you enjoyed this. Please uh, help out by subscribing, liking, whatever you fancy. Commenting would be nice. And uh, I hope to uh, see you in the new year. Thank you very much.